I won't spend so many time to do a discussion because I still have lots of slides to finish. Otherwise, we don't have any material to buy the dividend and pay them. So today I plan to finish a couple of them, and maybe next week I will finish these slides first. If we still have time, maybe we can talk about it later. If not, we will keep going the slides. Um, so, but I would say one more thing is like the most of my slides are easy to read and are easy to understand. So if I skip a lot, please go back on to read by yourself first. And if you have any challenge or any problem, just feel free to raise your hand next time. But you can see like a very easy to, I don't want to repeat the words one by one, so I quickly mention some, highlight something. But anyway, last week we mentioned like the risk is happening everywhere from the outside to the internal operations. So there is lots of things to define first. Also, some people like to use the time horizon to define that. So you may imagine some are long-term uh, impact and some are short-term impact. So quite different. Some may be cause very minor impact, some may be destroy the whole supply chain. We call it uh, disruption management. So some people will start talking about like, if the supply chain wholly disrupt, how to react with that. OK, we, we will talk about that maybe a few weeks later. And this risk, if they appear regularly, which means you better to put some effort to figure out. If, for example, your delivery always delay every day, then you better to solve that. How to solve that? One way, very easy way is don't promise the very timely. So for example, if you need to spend like, like two hours to finish your delivery, never promise just 30 minutes. So that's the easy way. But you can have lots of better solutions and strategy. So, um, but I, I can do it more, but today, not today. So we have lots of case study before, like the, in 2002, they have a very famous event, like the, starting from the United States, the West Side, some like the port dock workers, they don't satisfy with their, they are not satisfied with their salary, <coughs> so they say they want to strike. You will see in more recently, we have lots of strike, even in Taiwan. So in Taiwan, we have the airline uh, crews, they don't like happy with their salary, so two domestic airline companies, they have lots of big strike. What happened in the strike? You will see they shut down our service. So for example, like in our case, like a two airline company, they cancel lots of flight schedules. If you were a passenger, you must be very, very angry because they ruin your, I don't know, annually holiday plan, they ruin their business plan, or they ruin everything. And how to avoid that? So let's see this case. They start from 2002, they argued their, their salary, and at the beginning, no one really cared about that, you know that. So eventually, it became a very huge strike. But the impact, they totally affect the following six months. So means, which means that the west side, the whole port operations are shut down for six months. Why shut down so long? You can imagine that like, lots of containers may stay there, stuck with the whole port. And those kind of tech workers, they don't want to handle that. And not just for that, someone needs to check the inside the containers. If the containers, inside the containers have any fruit, or like uh, some cherries, what will happen? You need to clean that. So which means that like, in the six months, you need to spend more efforts. How to prevent that? Think about it. Example two, Coca-Cola also facing some like the uh, case in uh, Belgium, in Europe. And at the beginning, they don't find any problem, but their customer don't like their something wrong. Their customer can try to buy their cola and get some like the disease or something. But they go back to check the situation. Is the supplier probably is in the supplier? So their their whole assembly line, the factory or operation, all the same. But supplier material is something wrong. So they make the whole thing become a weird. And some hurricane or typhoon will also destroy everything. So I talked to you last week in Tokyo. They lose their power for more, one more week, more than one week. And also like the tsunami or something, they will make the whole area become a very inconvenient. Even for Thailand, I remember in 2012, they have a very huge flood. So flood, the whole bank 
the whole bank account has been like the flooded around the two more than two months. What will happen? Most of the new cars produced in Thailand, in the next year, most of the uh, electronic high technology company located in the Thailand cannot uh, finish their products. So my question number one is very simple. If you are a manager, how will you react this kind of the risk or events? How will you think? We talk about things, no matter the Coca-Cola's case, no matter the dark worker's case, no matter uh, you're facing a hurricane, no matter you're facing the Tesco, Pelis. I can give you more and more regular like case, actually. In my previous slides, I have uh, more than 20 cases. But I conclude in a very one simple question. If you are a manager of one of them, any business, whatever, how will you do? So I, I just asked you in the Payless case and Tesla case how you do, right? You go through the SWOT analysis, you try your best to get some conclusions, you try your best to develop some strategies. Is that enough? But try to guess, how will you do? Unfortunately, it's not easy. Do nothing. Why do nothing? Most of the Managers try to simply ignore that. Why? Why they choose this situation? Like for instance, like flooding and um, natural disasters, we as humans cannot control them. Very so good. We can't do anything about it. So we just do whatever happens. We just deal with whatever happens. Exactly. Most of managers think like the hurricanes. They cannot control that typhoon or earthquake. We, we cannot fight with that. Just let it go. And after that, try their best to recover. Maybe spend lots of time. I agree. What else? Some people may feel like the uh, supplier's problem, the Coca Cola case. The supplier's problem, not my problem. So why blame me? But people don't remember, don't forget, like the cons consumer try to purchase the final end product, it's your end product. Yeah. They don't blame your supplier. No matter how you try to argue with your supplier, you cannot change your whole thing. But most of the managers try to think this is not my fault, I don't need to care about that. Although it's, but supply chain viewpoint is quite different. Every member within the supply chain may affect the whole ruin the whole system. So even though that's not your fault, then your supplier or your supplier's suppliers may destroy your business. But quietly try to ignore that. Easy to handle. I don't need to think about any strategy. You see, we just spent like the one more one and a half hours should develop some fundamental and basic strategy. If we stay in a real business, in a real company, how is how how how, how much time you want to spend? Five minutes. Five minutes? No, no way. <laughs> no, 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 no. In the future, you will find they spend three weeks to discuss a lot and get the same thing or get nothing. True. So you know, business is very inefficient based on my previous experience. I worked for the United States government for one more year. Taiwan's government for one more year, both of them are very inefficient, no matter in Taiwan or in the United States. Uh, but I think in like sometimes we still need to communicate with all your partner. If you say nothing, if you just do your own things, then they, you will reach to another disaster. So that's why we will spend a lot of time with this. But simply you know, you know that we found most of practitioners like to use it this way. Mm -hmm. Because like Jamalas mentioned, some you cannot control. Sometimes you can do, but cost too much money. You know, they will back to the profit and the price. And most of private company think that this kind of risk management is should government help them. <laughs> so they always rely on the government support, the government help. They don't want to bring their own money from their pockets to solve this problem. But that's why we find most of the staff always start from you know that. So I try to list lots of manager why they choose to ignore, so you can go back on to read. Similar to how you think. So let me jump back. So my question two. Should we really ignore those risks? Why or why not? No. Everyone know everyone's still in this case maybe I think ninety percent of the students will say we should not. But why? Maybe I can stand on another 10% and say, just ignore that. 
No, but if you you open a company, then you know the risk that comes with opening that company. You know, you will factor in like climate change and those things. So you shouldn't ignore it. You should plan for it. Okay, very good. Uh, now time changes. Maybe I guess maybe twenty years ago, if you just say, "I you know that no one will blame you," your company will run very fast and run very well, and no one will really blame you. But right now, everything changed. We start to talk about the CSR. We start to talk about the responsibility for each business, the social responsibility. You cannot just say, "I don't care about everything." Yeah. So now, better to think about that. And also, like sometimes, if you not handle very well, you will ruin more business. Actually, I have one big news that I have no time to share today. But you can, if you are highly interested, you can go back to look at this case. It's around 2017, two years ago. I have lots of links listed here. Some are video, some are Chinese version, some are English version. Whatever you want, I list it here. Mm -hmm. But I have no time to share with you this news. Quickly tell you what happened. This is uh, ranking number three, it's the very largest company, steel company in Japan. <laughs> they provide their material, they are supplier. So they provide lots of steel for lots of industry, like the Toyota, like the Boeing aircraft, like the Airbus, like lots of the, uh, even for the Shinkansen, the rail system in Japan. Lots of trans transportation system rely on their material. But they make a fake report. So their customer believe their steel is very strong, very good, very powerful, like a Toyota, although they are very weak. But they think this can help them to shape, reshape their brain image. Unfortunately, this, someone tried to say their report statement once the government jumped in, really fake. So how you feel Toyota right now? Weaker and even weaker. The customer will start to say, I don't want to push it because the safety issue or whatever. They really ruin the Toyota's business. They not just ruin by Toyota, they also ruin the Airbus, ruin the Shinkansen, ruin lots of the, their customer. So I say, this is one company. But this event, they lose lots of business, they create lots of the social impact. But I don't have time to share that. So please go back home if you are highly interested. Most of the link here. So, okay, I'll just share My question too is, certainly we, we should do something, but what should we do? Some people start to talk about a reactive approach. Let let things happen. Try our best to re, to figure out that get back into a tiny manner as soon as possible. Some people may do this way. Not that easy, but this is the most people try to do. At least they do something. All right. So that's the way. So here I put lots of example. So some people was try to increase their safety stack level. Make sure they can handle some material flow if they shortage. Some people will try to use like a multiple sourcing. This will, this will be covered in chapter A. The professor Chu will tell more about this. Single sourcing versus multiple sourcing, they have a different disadvantage. Uh, advantage. Um, try to have more spare capacity, but it's very difficult actually. Uh, this two are not that easy because in the real world, if something really happens, everyone try to grab the raw material. If your market share is not very high, <coughs> which means you will lose all materials. Because ranking number one, two, or three, they will grab, they will clean out all the raw materials in the market. Uh, number four, you can try to use a lonely time. I say, like, the, if you cannot promise your <coughs> delivery within the 30 minutes, you better promise them longer time. Similar to that. So, lots of things you can do. And manager can make a decision, but very difficult. Even in the future, I guess most of you will become manager, different level. After you graduate, get your master degree, maybe graduate after 10 years, you will become a middle level manager. Maybe when you are 50 years old, you become very high level manager. <coughs> but you need to make lots of decisions. Is that easy to do? No. Not that easy. And sometimes your wrong decision may even ruin the whole company. So once you become a higher level, you will have lots of challenges. I try to list why the decision become very difficult to make. Uh, the environment was changing, the tight deadline, little information, especially for little information, something no information. So you can do. I try to list all of them. 
and some people need to consider political. So recently, um, some big company between the United States and mainland China. Two days ago, we tried to talk. I tried to talk with lots of my students online. Um, they just say like most of the company, the, their supply chain base is still in the mainland China, the eastern mainland China. They don't want to move, even though right now United States fight with mainland China. Why? Number one. They believe they are not truly fight eventually. They will negotiate somewhere, United States maybe will let them go. Number two, move the factory outside of mainland China is uh, spend lots of money and they cannot just like uh, get yeah, the quick yeah, and it's it, it very difficult. <coughs> so political consideration will affect a lot. But sometimes it's not easy to handle. And a lot. <laughs> I feel a lot of that. So you can go back home to check one by one. Let me know if you are. So always a lot of risk, and you know I need to do something, but you don't know how to do. So there are many coming back home. This is a lot of issue, but let me quickly say something. In the future, we will try to use a two name to define this kind of category. One we call uncertainty, another we call risk. What's the difference? Let me show the definition. Uh, uncertainty means like that you cannot act in the likelihood, as I mentioned last week. Risk means you have a chance to act in the probability that may occur. Quick give me an example. So for example, like a hurricane. It's likely to act in the hurricane is which one? Uncertainty. Uncertainty or risk? Uncertainty. Well, depends on the how technology you have. Some people believe they can predict the how frequent a hurricane location. Some still people, but I, I agree with you. So far, maybe stay here. But I guess maybe after 10, 5 or 10 years, hurricane maybe. Yeah, okay. And sounds like the, about what I want to say something is, no matter the probability or we call it likelihood, it's very difficult to estimate. So for example, like the, maybe you can predict next, next day, how many delivery will be delayed. You know, it's very difficult. Although you have last piece of work that happened, they cannot guarantee. They can only explain the past. They cannot guarantee the future. So that's a problem. But still, we try our best to at least separate into two. So uncertain means no information or little information. You cannot have really ask for that. Risk, at least you can do something. So, oh, I have lots of materials, but yeah, I'm reluctant. How about let's end up with here because next week we can start on because this is another another topic and I think better to continue as we like. Okay. Um for uncertainty, this it's not only um hurricane, we have a lot of um, natural disasters. Yes. So like earthquake, really like especially simple. here in Mali, it's no way we could predict uh an earthquake is gonna come tomorrow or uh, next week. <laughs> agree with so, you. I agree with you. So some people try Even if to. you have the best technology, you still cannot predict whether the earthquake is going to be this strong or that strong. Very good. Tomorrow. Some people spend lots of money to try to predict earthquake right now. But so far as I know, they only can predict 10 seconds in advance. But 10 See, seconds. 10 seconds. They spend lots of money, efforts. 10 seconds, they only can reach right so now. So, what can we do in 10 seconds? <laughs> 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 Try to call your bad parents. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> you can get some information. But I mean, I agree with John. I mean, lots of the disaster cannot really predict, but still have a difference. Earthquake, you cannot predict, but hurricane, typhoon. Sometimes, right now, we have new technology, so you will know maybe six days before. Yeah. So you can do something within six days. But sometimes they have a key ship. So even if you do something, then it's like, I agree. You know, in, in Taiwan, in, you in, guys United States, like, in the United States, I know, lots of hurricanes just start, suddenly occur. Yeah. And ruin your day. I, I haven't faced that before, but my, lots of my friends in the middle United States were facing a hurricane. <coughs> and it's truly terrible. Yeah. And for the typhoon, maybe okay. Or you can have quite different. Yes. Yeah, yeah, quite different. Yeah. And also like the flood. The flood is a little bit in each and each, maybe starting from the rainfall mm -hmm. and then becomes a flood. Mm -hmm. So in Thailand's case in 2012, if you have inches, you can go back to look at the case. Thailand every summer they have a rainfall season. But 
but not here very special. No one really know they will have so many birds yeah. in the summer and in the countryside. So I mean, I agree with John a lot. Most of the disaster is very difficult to predict or like the analysis. But still try our best to do something. But except the disaster, maybe sound like a human made. Maybe you can try to do something. You can control your business, you can try to control your company. You find like a uh, sign employee, they will make a phone once per week. Sign employee maybe twice per week. Some employee maybe ten times per week. Then you can try to see what happens. You have lots of drivers to do a delivery. Someone may be very good for a whole year. Someone may be have lots of accidents per year. So then you can try to do something. I mean, some, something you can do, something you cannot do. But try your best to do something. Don't just ignore that. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's my short conclusion today. I, I think I better end up here because <coughs> I have a 70 slides and all others will form another group. And here I start from next week will be better. And today I spent a lot of time to do this discussion, but yes. a little bit different with the last week is you can find like last week I start from a field free report. You know, I just want you to open your mouth. But this week, sorry, I, I always want to ask you more. <laughs> so this week I try to bring a slot here. Let's see how, how will happen in the next two weeks. I will try you to, I will give you more like the guideline, guideline to talk more, to see how to analyze the events in more system and go away. And on two things you need to go back home today to do. Number one is try to search your return presentation paper. Number two, try to find out your group map during the final term project presentation and search your project topic. But you have a nearly like the two more months. <laughs> My requirement, remember that each team only have a three to four people, but don't have the same countries together. Try to mix up your your teammates. Oh, no, you know. I know some teammates maybe try your best because once you stay here, try your best to try to collaborate and cooperate with the different people from different countries. It's interesting and I have lots of experience in the United States, so don't worry about that. <laughs> Sometimes I'm very funny actually. But remember two things. All right, so once you have the paper, please feel free to email me, and I will guide you if it's okay or not. Okay, and we have next we try to discuss if we want the same day or which day or whatever. That's just last week. All right, so any questions or comments today? If not, I'd like to end up here because all others are another story. I'd like to have the full story together. Okay. okay. So see you next week and thanks for your coming today. Thank you.